Good morning right now. I slept a lot yesterday because I was depressed and everything. Um, by the way, nobody's paying for you guys to watch me or anything like that. So if you don't like my channel or something for some reason you don't like me, please just go away. Um, nobody's paying you to watch me. So, um, if you don't like me, then don't watch me, please. Um, but anyways, I'm just chilling right now. I gotta get some things, somehow get some things for, um, Louisiana to go because I'm going on vacation there for the weekend, so, um, I need to get some things there before I go. I'm going to have to use the last bit of my money to get the things that I need, like daytime and stuff for my allergies and all that, so that I can feel okay there. Um, I'll have to use my last bit of money for that, but, um, yeah, so, but... <clears throat> I got my son some socks and clothes recently because I care about him and I want to make sure that he's got everything that he needs for school and all that, so. Um, <clears throat> but I'm just going to let people know that my boyfriend isn't all responsible for me. I'm responsible for myself as well. He pays all the bills and everything, so that's where a lot of his money goes. He's not responsible for me. He's not my husband yet. So, um... A boyfriend is not there to financially support you all the way. It's a 50-50 thing in a relationship. You know, I pay for some things. He pays for some things. Um, it's 50-50, and that's how it should be. A, a guy is not there to fully responsible for you to support you. So anybody that thinks that is full of shit because that's not how the way it goes. He pays for a lot of the bills and everything that we need and all that. Next month, I'm going to be paying bills and getting his food and all that. Because we had a really big water bill this month of $300 for a water bill. Because our, our water was drain, was running a lot with our toilet. So, we have to pay. He has to pay for that. So, next month, I'm going to be paying for a lot of the food and everything. I'm going to be paying bills, all that. So, yeah, it's 50-50 in a relationship. It's not just one person supporting you. So... Yeah, my boyfriend's not responsible for everything for me. Um, that's not the way that it goes. So. People that think just because I have a boyfriend now, or whatever, that he's financially supposed to support me is bullshit. So that's not the way it goes in a relationship. The guy is not there to support everything for you. So. Yeah, he does buy me some things. And he does take care of me somewhat, but I'm financially supporting myself as well. It's 50-50. He's not here to take care of everything that I need. So, yeah, and sometimes he doesn't have a lot of money and everything because he's paying, paid all the bills and all that stuff. So, But as far as food and everything, we get our food, we get our food for three weeks at a time, so that's where a lot of our money goes to. So... We have to make sure that we have food. We have to make sure that we pay our bills. All that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Um, and there's things that I need throughout the month and everything that I have to get on my own. So, he's not here to fully support me like a lot of people think. Just because I'm in a relationship that the guy's fully supposed to support me. It's fucking bullshit. And if you think that you can have a guy to fully support you like that, it's fucking bullshit. It's 50-50. So, agree or disagree with me, or whatever, but I'm sick of people just telling me that you have somebody now that you're supposed to, that you can, you can take care of you, bullshit. Um, my boyfriend only works a certain job, and all of, a lot of his money goes to the bills, things that we need. So, yeah. I mean, sometimes he is buying me things a little bit when he can, but not all the time. And I'm sick of people, um, talking shit about me, um, and thinking that they know everything about my life, about what I do, about my kid, that all this stuff, people are just really hurtful, and I'm sorry, but just because somebody asks for a handout and asks for help doesn't mean that they have to be treated like shit because of it. I already get treated like shit by my family, so I shouldn't be treated like shit by my fans. I'm sorry if I defended anybody or everything like that. 
everything that I say yesterday, I take it back. I was going through a really hard time yesterday. I was financially stressed. I was upset. I was depressed. I was all kinds of things. I was so depressed yesterday that I slept all day yesterday. Because I was so depressed. I didn't even want to be awake. My boyfriend wanted to spend time with me and everything. I didn't even want to be awake with him. Or anything. Yesterday. That's how upset I was. I didn't, I would rather have been in dream world yesterday than be awake. That's how upset I was. So... If anybody wants to make me feel bad today, just please save it from somebody else. I don't think I'm better than everybody. I don't think I'm the shit. I don't think I'm any of that stuff. And all that. You know, I got a rude, hurtful comment recently that is just fucked up. Um, and I just don't... I just don't want to feed into the negativity of these trolls and these people that are just rude and hurtful people. And... If you don't like what I do on YouTube, please just don't watch me. Please just go somewhere else. Because I'm not paying you to watch me. I'm not paying anybody to watch me. And I would rather have people that love and support me than people that treat me like shit. I already get enough of that from my family. So, yeah. But I love you guys so much. And I'm sorry if you guys feel like I don't love you guys. Because I do love you guys. It's just when I'm going through a hard time, of course I'm going to ask for help. And it's just fucked up that I get such negativity asking for help. Um, you know, and all that. So, but I'm sorry if you guys were offended by anything that I said or anything that I did. And I'm sorry. But I was going through a really hard time. 